the celebrated poet faiz ludhianvi says ae naye saal bata tujhme naya pan kya hai har taraf khalk ne kyun shor macha rakha hai tu naya hai tu dikha subha nayi sham nayi varna in aankhon ne dekhe hain naye saal kai the turning of the calendar from one year to the next has always been a time of reflection and hope we spend the days summing up past experiences bidding farewell to those we have lost renewing old friendships making plans and resolutions and expressing our hopes for the future ella wheeler wilcox wrote the classic poem the year in 1910 she says what can be said in new year rhymes that has not been said a thousand times the new years come the old years go we know we dream we dream we know we rise up laughing with the light we lie down weeping with the night we hug the world until it stings we curse it then and sigh for wings we live we love we woo we wed we read our brides we sheet our dead we laugh we weep we hope we fear and that is what comes each year isn't it a brilliant commentary on how the new year often revives us even though it is just another day on the calendar the new year indeed is a moment of quiet reflection dear friends reflect on the year gone by of the happy gains and missed opportunities as well recount the good and bad of the past year introspect on your personal growth and learn from the experience new year is the time to ensure that we bring balance to our life with positive influences overriding the negative ones the yin and yang in tandem in tune कुमार विश्वास से खुद से अनुबंध किया है अब मन को निर्बंध किया है अब गत विगत मुक्त हो सकने का संपूर्ण प्रबंध किया है अब इफ लिविंग थ्रू अ ग्लोबल पैंडेमिक हैज टॉट अस एनीथिंग इट इज दैट वी शुड नेवर टेक अवर हेल्थ एंड वेलनेस एंड लाइफ फॉर ग्रांटेड इन 2023 इंप्रूविंग अवर बॉडी माइंड in sync with our well being is a great way to organize our long term goals for the new year it does not really have to translate to starting a new diet or workout plan though you can set your sights on taking charge of your mental health finally optimizing perhaps a better sleep routine or diving head first into reclaiming your space so you wave a goodbye to messy closets or disastrous bathrooms let us together create a list of attainable new year 2023 resolutions here together through this conversation let us resolve to kick off the year with a stronger well nourished body and an enriched mind our resolutions help us feel sorted they calm our mind they ease the stress and anxiety and give us a direction to maneuver our lives the way we want the way we will this year 2023 is the year to put yourself first let's sit down with a pen and note what gels with us let's keep it simple and clear cut and at let us also add a weekly or monthly checklist to it So here is a list of resolutions we can share and pick up they are in no particular order all we have to do is to mentally prepare ourselves for change set a goal that motivates us and let's be extremely specific about it we can also break up big goals into smaller goals with timelines i would recommend that we should write down our goals writing makes it very very focused we can also share our goals with our friends who are like minded and kindred spirit sharing as you know is like caring it always helps we can even use modern apps like the reminders to digitize it and we can review these resolutions weekly maybe sunday to sunday and if we fall off track 
we have to get back on real quick and we have to learn to celebrate our small victories so first of all let us start with the basics economics i think the first thing that is very important is to build a better budget in this consumerist society of today where we are consistently boomeranged with things to buy and encouraged to mindless buying what to do with hundreds of cash cards and unnecessary expenses i think it will do us a world of good to outline a rough budget for buying things for home and family let's make a very conscious vow to save money as a student let us be aware of courses that are relevant and scholarships that might help us as a parent let us focus on opening accounts for our child and by encouraging them to save let us learn about the emerging financial trends for wealth management let's work hard and let's save and not be too greedy साई इतना दीजिए जामे कुटुम समाए मैं भी भूखा ना रहूं साधु ना भूखा जाए दीज आर इटरनल एज ओल्ड इंडियन फिलोसफी सेइंग्स दैट विल गाइड अस सो वेल इफ वी लिसन टू देम फ्रेंड्स द सेकंड थिंग दैट कम्स टू आवर माइंड इज द मेंटल एंड स्पिरिचुअल डोमेन इन दिस थिंग we have to underline practicing mindfulness it's so so important today's world is a fast paced world one of the real sources of stress in our life is the insecurity of never being enough the subconscious feels that we are incomplete that there is always something out there that would somehow complete us it dictates much of our tension ridden thinking we have an imagination of a perfect self and falling short of that reinforces that feeling and thanks so much to the digital world statuses we constantly compare ourselves with others as there seems to be always someone more successful more beautiful more interesting more healthier better connected or seemingly happier and we feel less about ourselves i think the most fundamental resolution we can make this year will be finding the courage the compassion and the connection to say i am enough to be consciously grateful for life and for other life forms everyone else is enough too just as they are meant to be even people we dislike or who trouble us what if they are here to help us evolve into sturdier stronger versions of ourselves dear friends every plant every rock every beetle every bumblebee every butterfly every child is just as it should be this attitude of gratitude will definitely make us feel content and generous we feel blessed so let us say in our hearts let us say in your hearts with me i am enough i am happy thank you so much to the universe for giving me all that i have practicing mindfulness means doing everything you can to be grateful for what you have in the moment where you are in life who you are now certain techniques like deep breathing and yoga help us we have to increase focus on things that matter the most we need to learn to communicate everything big or small with our dear ones we need to spend quality time with family and friends and we should keep the phone away when we are with them and we can take up hobbies like reading painting learning a new language i think that's a big one learn a new skill you love cooking so try baking a new dish you love reading try a new genre a new book or a new author you love traveling what about saving for that perfect destination you have always longed for you love talking what about listening once in a while to your friend who generally stays silent You are very techno savvy what about a new course or a hobby club to discuss and learn and teach what you love learn something new whatever your age 
it's it's really going to make you very happy then comes the personal fitness part and in that what tops the list is exercise more we can pick up a specific thing like joining a new gym or yoga group maybe walking 10000 steps a day or maybe climbing 50 stairs daily if you are a housewife maybe you can start cleaning and sprucing up your house yourself or going out for vegetable and grocery shopping daily at regular time whatever it is keep yourself moving flexible fitter cutting down on digital time yes we all spend an enormous time on consuming unnecessary details on digital media about everybody else's life this is our life a digital detox is a very important thing in this digital age maybe we can limit our screen time to 2 hours daily or maybe you can switch to total non digital days on sundays whatever suits you but believe me this is going to bring you infinite peace and will boost your health to eat a balanced diet to start loving the green leafy vegetables that winter brings so abundantly and coarse grains which the whole government is trying to bring back into fashion believe me people these are the newest fashion statements in the coming age buy and wear what you are comfortable with promote local khadi shops promote the local artisans don't overstock things share and give away what you don't need lighten up brighten up this year early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy wealthy and wise this is an age old dictum and it stands valid even today take a break and a vacation and i'm sure that's going to bring a smile to your face go for the yearly mandatory health checkups they are required don't delay Now comes the facet of the social resolutions. We can join a volunteer help group. We can help and reach out to the people who are less fortunate than us. If you are an animal lover, you can join a volunteer help group for the same cause. Plant a sapling, own a green plant. Always gift a plant. Let's not throw plastic and non-biodegradable products into soil and water. Let us remember to switch off lights and water taps in our offices and homes whenever possible. We can do our small bit in saving energy, no? Let us be kind to one person or one animal at least in a day. Small little things. You don't need to move a mountain. You just need to probably, you know, just smile and say a good morning consciously. Let us give up a seat to that older woman or that pregnant woman standing in bus in front of us or in the metro. Let us support good honest people for public post and refuse to be enamored with glamour and show off of power. Let us bring good people into governance. Let's do our part of duty sincerely without comparing with those who don't. Let's smile and wish good morning or namaste. Let us not waste our time trying to prove how good we are. Our duty in this life is to light a candle, hold it till we can, and that's it. Just that much. Let's keep valuing all that is old and gold, our culture, our traditions, our family members, Doordarshan, All India Radio, and the faith in god these are few of the things that friends we need to really figure out and they are going to make our new year so very beautiful and we are going to feel so enriched by this experience of choosing our resolutions and following them according to a timeline is saal na ho pur aankhe nam is saal na wo khamoshi ho इस साल न दिल को दहलाने वाली कोई भी बेबस बेहोशी हो इस साल मोहब्बत की दुनिया में दिल दिमाग की आंखें हो इस साल हमारे हाथों में आकाश चूमती पाखें हो एंड आई वुड लाइक टू से गुड बाय टू यू विद अ पोएम 
by Lord Alfred Tennyson, Ring Out Wild Bells. Ring out the old, ring in the new, ring happy bells across the snow. The year is going, let him go. Ring out the false, ring in the true, ring out the grief that saps the mind. For those that here we see no more, ring out the feud of rich and poor, ring in redress to all mankind. Ring out a slowly dying cause and ancient forms of party strife. Ring in the nobler modes of life with sweeter manners, purer laws. Ring out the want, the care, the sin, the faithless coldness of the times. Ring out, ring out my mournful rhymes, but ring the fuller minstrel in. Ring out false pride in place and blood, the civic slander and the spite. Ring in the love of truth and right. Ring in the common love of good. Ring out old shapes of foul disease. Ring out the narrowing lust of gold. Ring out the thousand wars of old. Ring in the thousand years of peace. Ring in the valiant man and free. The larger heart, the kindlier hand. Ring out the darkness of the land. Give me a wise head and a helping hand. Happy New Year to all of you. Happy New Year resolutions to each one of you.